can't see. <laughs> me. <laughs> me, Trev. Silly me. <laughs> Welcome to my new blog today, Thursday. How are you doing? How's your week going, all right? Today is the 14th of December, and we're getting very close to Christmas. Yeah. Lots of new things coming up. Well, I've been doing, and uh, I've just put a new Wi-Fi modem on my computer. Yeah, so there's the Wi-Fi modem from Telstra. Telstra. Yeah, so um, this is all. To, I had to change my old Wi-Fi modem over, um, put this new one because it's to do with the NBN, National Broadband. So this will give me Netflix. Oh no, not Netflix. I'll tell you about. It. <laughs> well, I can get that on my computer, but. This will give me a uh, higher speed, yeah, high internet speed, and uh, so, the next thing, when I was talking about the Netflix, yeah, well, I've got it, what you call Telstra TV, it's a Telstra TV box that goes into the TV, and I have to Wi-Fi it in to my Wi-Fi, password, or whatever it is, so, um, we get higher speed, then we can watch Netflix and Foxtel as well, so, um, see what happens I haven't got that rigged up yet so I'm gonna to get to that yet so and I want also I've just uh, ordered I can't show you certain things DVDs because of copyright restriction so I did buy complete movies through Amazon thank you Amazon <laughs> of Abbott and Costello the full collection Universal Universal Studio collection the Universal Studios uh, of Abbott and, and Costello. Oh, they were my favourite comedians, and they are absolutely funny. So, I know this is a bit upside down, but that's the collection that they sent me. And, uh, yeah, I'll get a bit quick one. <laughs> I won't show you too much. So, that's the uh, Abbott and Costello collection. You can order that through Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. Thank you, Amazon. Yeah, so. And the next thing I want to show you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've had some very hot days. I know you guys in America, the UK, are really sure freezing up over there with your snow. But here it's a different story. And we've had some very hot weather. We've had 38 degrees Celsius. And uh, but today, a little bit cooler. Not too bad, but still humid, very sunny, and humid, very cloudy, and uh, we may get a storm, don't worry about my washing. <laughs> it is cloudy, but I don't think we're going to get very much. Now, I, I had to make a debut, I had to make an exit from the caravan, my brother's caravan. Remember, I was using it as my video room and uh, all sorts of things, but look at it now. I can tell you, see what, I can tell you why. No, it's, all, it's nothing there. My, or my DVD player, game, uh, me work wife, uh, what do you call it, um, Wii U, yeah, it's gone. No, didn't get. I didn't get robbed. No, and the table's gone too as well. <laughs> no, I didn't get robbed. No, what happened is uh, is this. I'm going to show you. Now, could have caused a catastrophe. Could have caused a big fire. Because look what's happened under the caravan. If you can see it, it's all black. all black and it's caused well there's no power pot power power I had to unplug the leads and uh, what happened is the uh, the leads blew out so this is one of the leads so as you can see it's all black and uh, 
there's a split in there with the water could have hit the uh, the truck yeah and this uh, lead that goes joins on is absolutely black so this uh, actually blew out and uh, it could have caused a fire that caravan could have gone up in smoke I could have lost everything very lucky so I'd always be very careful with your leads especially this one <laughs> so I had to move everything out but the DVD player is back in my room so and I got I, I got to set that up connected and also the Wii U as well so things are changing a little bit so I have to move everything so yeah it's like a little rain gauge my new rain gauge actually yeah and the other thing I've got to fix try and do something about is my is our picnic table I gave this to my mum and dad I would have showed you this on uh, my last vlog and uh, all that wood is crumbling yeah it's rotting it's, as soon as you put your finger in there it's soft it's gonna break yeah so um, I'm gonna do something about that. Maybe um, I could uh, put a board over that or something like that to sit on. It's been crumbling up because of the weather. We've had it quite a few years. I mean, my sister and a brother-in-law, my sister and her husband gave that to mum and dad for Christmas or oh, some time back, I don't know, 2003 or four, around about. Could have been earlier. So, uh... Okay, have you seen a ghost? This flying fox here. Look what it's doing. Willow. Moving. Willow, ghost. It's moving. Ghost. 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 They're moving by themselves. There's a ghost on those seats. It's a ghost area, so it's haunted. Now, so I'm trying to find. Now, what you've seen there is our uh, splash park and um, the playground. Now, of course, it's the Mitchell Avenue, Mitchell Avenue playground and splash park. So, um, now, look, I'm looking for our flood, well, you might notice our flood marker, Yogi Bear at Apex Park. To me, it's not Yogi Bear. I think it's Huckleberry Hound. Remember that? Yeah. And our Yogi Bear flood marker was here in this park, so I can't find it. <laughs> Did they take it away? Where, I'd like to know where it happened to it. So, um, look, a few people locally here knows where a Yogi Bear that used to be in Mitchell Avenue Park. <laughs> Please let me know, because <laughs> I can't find him. He may have been removed somewhere else. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> it's mysterious. But Huckleberry Hound is at, at uh, Apex Park. Well, they call it Yogi Bear, but to me it's not Yogi Bear. I think, really, Hanna Barbera Film Company will identify that. <laughs> they know all about it. <laughs> I love Hanna Barbera. I love the Flintstones. Yogi Bear, Huckleberry Hound, McGilla Gorilla. Remember those? I've got McGilla Gorilla, I've got all the episodes. So what's your favourite cartoon of Hannah Barbera? Yeah. Tell me, you can comment. And there's our swimming pool. Was. But it's all closed up. 
Now of course this is our Yurunga swimming pool which is no more closed down because um, something to do with the, uh, the, the council hasn't got enough money to maintain it so um, they closed it down so they've got to decide deciding what they're going to do with the area but I reckon you know they run their dog park but you know why can't both they build another swimming pool I could turn that into a really swimming pool complex, put some slides in there, you know, tubes, tube slides, remember those, you know, splash, big splash park, huge. But thing is, that'll create a big competition with a swimming pool on the other side of town, on the northern end of Wangaratta. So, I mean, they've got an indoor pool, big complex, huge. And um, that, that, it's just too far away from the south, people who live in the south area. I mean, we've got to go all the way over there. But, you know, we've got the Olympic pool, of course, that's halfway. Um, that's been here in Wangaratta for years. And, uh, but this one, this pool area, well, it's all covered in now. Um, it's been here since 19, I think, since 1971, I presume. I think I'm right or wrong, I'm not sure. So you can correct me on that, you locals, <laughs> in Mangaratta. 1971, 72, or any of that. Because I went to school. Because that's, uh, the other side of there is the Our Lady's Primary School, which is a Catholic school. And over there is the Arunga Primary School. That's the, uh, my old school, where I went to. Yeah, I spent eight years at the Arunga. Yeah, that's prep grade. Then I got stood down in grade one. Um, perhaps I'm not wasn't learning properly. I wasn't getting on very well with the kids at the time, so they decided to stand me down. <laughs> so that gives me an extra two years at Yaranga Primary School before I went to secondary college. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's a same shame. Because it's just all locked up, actually. Why should they lock it up? Why can't they just open it up and use it as a park? Hmm. Shame. I mean, it's summertime. People are swelting. Now, I know they go to the Splash Park, but... People like to come in there and swim. In the pool. Don't you? Yeah. Anyway, let's get going. I'll catch up. <clears throat> okay, now this is where my video player went to, it's back into my room, yeah, and I brought the table in as well, so I can use this keyboard and my diary book, and uh, the DVD player, that's my computer screen, and that's the screen I can play my DVDs and, uh, and the Wii U, and that's another the console for the Wii U as well, my hard drive and my Wi-Fi. So, um, well, good thing about this little table that I can push it in if I don't want it. No, I can push it in the other way. When I want to use it again, I'll just push that out. Yeah, cool. Now, a little Christmas story. And, um, let me take you back. <laughs> Let me take you back. Now, I enjoy Christmas every year. I always celebrate Christmas every year. Do you? Yeah. I put the Christmas tree up every year. I don't care. Yeah, and, um, when I was a little boy, my mum, well, <laughs> well, I was kids. When Peter and I were little. I was on a bunk bed right here in this room. Actually, well, no, I put the bunk bed, but we had a different one when I was little. And, uh, and uh, I woke up about, I think it must have been four o'clock in the morning. And I found I've got a, bar, a farm set. All these little animals. All these animals and a, and a farm on my bed. <laughs> so I woke up. Oh, oh this is cool. Got all these farm animals, yeah, and uh, so uh, 
Mum and Dad gave me the farm set for Christmas. I don't know, I don't know how old it was. I must have been about, I don't know, three or four years old. <laughs> farm set. Mum and Dad still sleeping. There, Peter and I are playing. There, Peter and I playing with our farm sets for Christmas. We didn't, we didn't care about the parents. No, that, that was Christmas. You know, we were happy. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so what are you doing for Christmas? I'm having a Christmas lunch with my sister. Yeah. <laughs> with my sister. We're all going out for lunch at her place. So it'll be pretty good. And, uh, so, um, get lots of presents. It'll be a good day. I think. Yeah. So, yeah, should be good. And uh, I always put Christmas trees up every year. Put this one up. Yeah, and uh, I always look forward to Christmas. I mean, they suppose, I mean, sometimes I do, or sometimes I don't. But you know, even though I don't have a mother, because she's passed away in 2009, she always loved Christmas. And uh, well, you know, you've got to bear it. Who cares? Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, so I received lots of toys over the years when I was a kid. And, uh, do you ever do any singing while you do the dishes? The dinner dishes, tea dishes, on the sink, you wash your dishes, you sing at the same time. <laughs> hear the bells ringing. I like jingle bells. What's your favourite Christmas song? My favourite Christmas song is Silent Night. That's my favourite Christmas song of all time. Yes. Of all time. Yeah. Put that one on. <laughs> uh, so, you know, Christmas trees, why should have all the Christmas trees have all the fun, you know, getting decorated when you can actually decorate yourself. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, so, um, it was really cool, you know, um, I, I look forward to Christmas every year, funny moments, good moments, you know, I used to bring, <laughs> I remember we're all opening presents in the family, in the lounge room, you know, by the tree, after opening all the presents, you know, all the wrapping paper gets piled up, you know, hold on, <laughs> After opening all the presents, and I always brought the, always bring in. The, he used to bring in the wheelbarrow. What you, the wheelbarrow. I used to bring that in. Load the wheelbarrow up with the, the decorations. Yeah. Okay. Hey. And uh, well, that's what it's all about. It's Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. All the decorations and stuff. Oh, I'm getting, I'm not getting hot. Oh, I'm getting hot here. Do I look pretty? I'm not going to do the finale yet. I can't see. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All the bells. And me's me angel. And I'm going to finish this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget on the weekend. Well, I got to sing on Friday tomorrow, so um, should be good. A happy Valley Hotel. Uh, what I've got to mow the lawn. I've got to rip the Christmas tree up on Saturday. So create harmony, peace. Bye. You never know what I get up to next. Merry Christmas. Peace. Great harmony.